everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Grandma. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to make chicken cordon bleu or easier said stuffed chicken breast with stuffed with ham and cheddar cheese. And if you take notice in my video that I made yesterday when I made lasagna, I put in easy peasy lasagna and unfortunately the Y missed so it looks like it says easy peas. There is no peas in the lasagna. It is easy peasy lemon squeezy lasagna. And now to get on with our chicken cordon bleu. This is a very technical recipe if you look it up in cookbooks. My way is simple, easy, and quick. Doesn't take you more than 10 minutes, not even. Five minutes prep time. And it's in the oven for an hour and a half or so, depending on the size of your chicken breast. So uh, let's just get started and I'll show you what I got. And this is also another budget friendly recipe. Um, I got these in a pack of five chicken breasts in the meat department at Walmart. And they are um, they used to be $10, they're up to 11 but $11. So that's just a little more than $2 a chicken breast. And they're boneless, skinless, very thick, very nice meaty chicken breast. So now what we're going to do is you're going to take a very sharp knife and be super careful. You're going to take and slice your chicken breast so we can create a little pocket. You don't want to go all the way to the end. Stop right there. Flip it open. You put a slice of ham. Now these are big slices. So what I'm going to do is put a piece of the ham, a slice of cheddar cheese, and then fold over the rest of the ham. Put the top back on. Season it real good with pepper and seasoning salt. I used salt first and I didn't, I stopped because I like seasoning salt better. I don't, see, salt is okay, but I like the, the if you use seasoning salt, let's see, making sure I'm getting this under the camera properly. If you're using seasoning salt like this, it tends to brown the chicken a little better. And it does give it much more flavor. Chicken breast is a good meat, but it's very, very bland. It needs a lot of seasoning. So there you have it. Salt and pepper, seasoning salt, pepper. And then you want to take two toothpicks, one there, one there. Make yourself a little packet. So that's what you are left with. In there, and the salt, the toothpicks hold it all together while it's baking. You put it in a baking sheet lined with foil, much easier cleanup, with a little bit of butter at the bottom to melt to give your chicken breast a nice uh, bed so they're not dried out. They're nice and they, the butter keeps them nice and, and moist. So you put that in there, and then depending on how many is in your family, I usually make one of these per person, and sometimes. Depending on the person, you can only eat half a one because there's, they, they do pump, pump up in the oven and they are nice and thick. So again, easy. Slice it, put a piece of the ham, put the cheese, cover it up, cover it with your top, season it all up nice. Salt, pepper, seasoning salt on both sides. Make sure to flip it over and do both sides. You don't want the bottom all bland and no flavor and the top nice and done. And there, now, and the toothpicks, one at the top, one at the bottom, just to hold everything together. And in your baking pan it goes. I've got one in the oven cooking for us, so I'm hoping it will be done or close to being done when I'm done explaining this video so I can show it to you what it looks like and uh, how easy it is to make this and these have to bake for about an hour and a half these are good sized chicken breasts so I would put them in the oven a good hour and a half you can have rice you can have noodles you can have ma um, mashed potatoes baked potato whatever you like to go with it this time what I'm going to make with it is one of Dino Brody's very favorite. 
I buy these side kits every so often. Once in a while, they're on sale at Walmart for a dollar. Chicken fried rice. And I have creamy bacon carbonara. It is a noodle dish with a sauce on it, white sauce with bacon bits in it. So we're going to have that tonight with ours and broccoli and cheese sauce. Bro, uh, Dino Brody loves broccoli with cheese sauce and that's what we're going to have. So instead of potatoes, because you know you have to have a little bit of a variety, you don't want potatoes every night. That's what we're having. And the sidekicks are easy to make. You put them in a pot of boiling water um, with uh, the package of seasoning and then either the new rice or the noodles. Simmer it for, um, I think it, I believe it's 20 minutes. I'd have to read the package. And then you keep it turned down real low heat and give it a stir every so often. And there you go. So now you see this probably took me about five minutes to make these. There's not anything complicated about it. If you look up a recipe for chicken cordon bleu, which is basically a chicken breast with ham and cheese incorporate in the middle of it, you're going to see how complicated it is where this version, my version of it, is not only budget comp friendly, but it's easy and quick. So there you have your chicken breast. No, oh, no, let me just switch. Let me see if I can. There you go. That's the raw chicken breast all nicely in their little bed. So you want to cover it with tin foil. That gives it a little um, easier cooking time. I usually take the tin foil off about 10 minutes before they're done just to kind of brown the tops of the chicken breast. And you can also sprinkle grated cheese on top of the chicken at that point and cook, put it back in the oven for the remainder 10 minutes. It, the, the chicken will uh, brown a little bit nicer and the cheese will melt right down into it. So there you have it. Chicken Cordon Bleu, the easy way. Creamy bacon carbonara, which it says right on the back here how easy this is. To make this, you put, you, in a medium saucepan, you put one cup of water and one cup of milk to a boil. Add in the package of, of uh, noodles and seasoning. Stir it in and reduce heat to medium and continue boiling gently for eight minutes or until pasta is done. For the rice, it's the same thing. You put in one and three-fourths cups of water and a package of contents. Reduce heat to low and simmer covered seven minutes until rice absorbs all the liquid. And then serve it. And broccoli is easy. You just break it up into florets, put it into a pan, and then make your white sauce. Now I can, or your cheese sauce, I'm sorry, cheese sauce. I can show you all how to make cheese sauce. If you'd like, I just will get all my ingredients out. Making cheese sauce is pretty easy. I'm guessing you can buy it in the store. I've never really looked for it anywhere in the stores. I would imagine you could buy it already made, but this isn't hard to do and homemade is always, always better. It's always better. So I'm just getting out my ingredients that I need and then I'll be moving my camera over to my stove so we can all see how easy it is to make cheese sauce. What am I looking for here? I got the cheese and I got, oh, I need some butter. That's what I went into the refrigerator for. Now I'm only going to just make a very small amount to show you because this is better made fresh. I don't want to make up my whole entire uh, batch of cheese sauce because it is only three o'clock and we don't eat until five, five thirty. So you don't want to get, you don't want to make it any too early because it gets too gloppy and too thick and to reheat it is not very good. You want this made right away to spoon over top of your broccoli. So I'm going to make a very, very small batch just to show you all what 
what it is like. So let's bear with me a moment while I move my camera over to the stove top. Get it all set up here. Let's see. There we go. That might need to be a little bit higher. I have Brody's at school, so Grandma is on her own making these meals, these videos. He's not here to do my camera work. Okay. I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. Because you can't see down in the bottom of the pan, but I will show you as we go. So what you do is you turn your burner on to high, medium high. You put, in, when I make the full batch, I use two tablespoons of butter. For this one, I'm using a tablespoon. You put that into the pan. You take a tablespoon of flour. Again, when I'm making the full batch, I'll use double or triple. I actually use three tablespoons of flour. For this one, I just want the one. You take your whisk. And for those of you who don't know what a whisk are, is this is a whisk it's a wire stirring now you just go get you can even go to the dollar store and get one of those this makes everything blending creamy creamy instead of trying to use a pan uh, sorry a spoon so you just beat you just mix whisk your flour and your butter together let that flour or the butter melt and let it kind of marry into the flour a little bit you just want to stir it all together so there you go there it is it looks kind of yucky floppy but that's okay now you add milk I have never measured this out I just pour it into you can always add more be very careful pouring it in when I make the full batch it's about a cup of milk for this and that that's what that's all you do you stir and stir your you stir and stir your milk mixture in with your um, butter and your um, there we go you stir it up and you keep whisking Whoops, sorry about that there we go just trying to get to hold the camera right over the pot so you can see you keep whisking until it is thick if you don't whisk if you stop or if you want to use a spoon now at this point when the flour is all melted you can change to a spoon but you must keep stirring because if you don't, it will get very gluffy. There will be no nice creamy sauce for you. It'll be thick, which is what you want, but it'll be a big glob of flour and milk. So you must keep stirring until it is nice and thickened, which takes like, think how quickly it is, this, even with a small batch. And you just mix it up and you keep stirring, stir and stir, and stir and stir, and there, see how thick it's getting? Let's see, can I show that? There we go. So it's just about thickened up. Put my camera back over here. Now it is just, it's thickened up, and I'm going to pour it into the, you know, it's not quite thick enough, but it's getting to that point. Let's see. There we go, nice and creamy. It's very creamy. I'm gonna just let this cook a little, another second, another minute, because it's not as thick as I want it yet. Sometimes if you add too much milk, it will be too thin. If that's the case, then just add a little more flour and butter. You wanna do both flour and butter, otherwise it'll get thick, and all you'll have is a flour taste sauce. Now this is perfect this is exactly the way i want it so now you put your grated cheddar cheese into there into your pan 